you know, school boards are, I mean, they are the neck that turns the head from hiring to yes. curriculum to so many things. I mean, budgets, so many things tie in there. And a lot of times these are all issues that parents are concerned about. And, you know, rather than having the adversarial type approach, you know, engagement, as you were saying, engagement, get involved, know what's going on, be informed, and not just as an adversary, but also as an advocate yes. every, everywhere you can. But as far as running for school board or being appointed, um, talk a little bit more about that because a lot of people, they say, well, you know, how would I even go about that? Yeah, so um, back in 2015, we found out one of our, um, our representative in the Catawba Valley District of Roanoke County, which is the largest demographically, was stepping down. He was going to retire. He'd been doing it for many, many years. And um, you know, I remember my wife and I talking and, and I, I had never been involved in anything like that, politics or, or any office. Um, but I knew I was passionate about education. I knew my kids were, uh, had gone through that school district and I wanted to be involved. And, you know, there's a big difference between sitting at home and criticizing all the bad things that happen um, and getting involved and actually initiating change internally. And so yeah. I, I decided to, to research it and find out what a school board does. Um, and you're right. Uh, if you look at the National School Board Association, the primary directive of school boards is policy, period. Um, in fact, when you go through training, they tell you don't go to local schools and, and, and get involved with teachers and hiring coaches and things. That's not your job. Your job is policy. Leave that up to the educators. And yet the truth is that's exactly what school board members do. They're walking the halls. They're involved in the meetings with who's going to be the next coach of the big football team. They're very engaged and very involved, which means they have a lot of power and influence. But in a way, but in a way they need to be, because if you're not engaged, you, know, you have no understanding of what's really going on. So what policy is happening? Is policy being implemented and so forth? But carry on. I, I, and, and I was I was that guy. I mean, our, we had a local school. I was on the front page news many, many times because I was so involved in um, a, a lot of the things that were that were happening. And I got I got my hand slapped a lot by the school board attorney and, and other people for being too involved. Um, but, you know, for me, I, I think that was an opportunity. If I'm representing 20 plus thousand people that that put me in office. I need to have my thumb on the pulse to a degree to represent them honestly with integrity. So um, you're right. So I think that's what the school board is. And I, th I think people have a tremendous, not only um, a responsibility, but an opportunity to be involved at that level. Um, and, you know, it opened up my eyes to a lot. Um, but the, the, to be an agent of change on a local school board, I, I don't think that it, it, the power there, the the uh, engagement there. So every parent, anybody that I have a friend of mine that's going to be running for office for the school board in the position that I that I left years ago, um, he's going to be running for. It. And I think a few people are. He's not an educator. He does not have an education in education. Um, he, he was a school resource officer. He's a sheriff's deputy, but he's a dad with kids and he wants to be involved and make a difference. Um, and I think the school board is a tremendous opportunity for that. Um, and if it's not a school board to run for office, um, and, and, you know, listen, I'd never been involved in politics before. I, I was a pastor um, and I had people, I had two running against me, one in particular that um, had, had so much more experience in budgeting and financing and business. Um, and because of my faith that was used against me in the campaign, even the Roanoke Times was upset that a pastor was running for office. I had somebody pull a gun and threatened to come to our church and 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 finish me because, uh, you know, do you want to be a pastor or a politician? That, that's not right. But again, I, our country was founded, our educational system, every university except like the Virginia, Virginia University of Virginia was founded by ministers and, and people of faith um, that wanted to be involved and had a desire. And so even though everybody was against me and I didn't get any endorsement, I still won. And I, I really believe it's because um, people don't want to see that expert. They want to see somebody like them represent them and be involved. And so there's definitely a possibility of, of running and winning. 
Um, but again, even if it's if it's other things, I've helped with Special Olympics at local schools. I've I've helped feed teachers at local schools. I've helped after prom parties at local schools. Whatever you could do to be involved, it, it's an investment of your time, even if it's sacrificial, um, that will absolutely make a tremendous difference in the lives of your child and their other stakeholders. 